Guys, it's real good friend Hagen Del Richard recording in to give you a golden piece of advice. A piece of advice that applies for when you're just not quite on your A game, when you don't quite have the intensity or the aggression needed to hit a PR. What do you do? Do you have another pot of coffee? Do you have another scoop of pre-workout and risk myocardia ataxia? Is that correct, mama? Myocardial ataxia. See, I corrected myself. Exactly. But guys, what do you do? Mama, if you don't feel like working out, what do you do? Crank the tunes. Always a good choice. But what if crank, what if, what if uh, uh, substances and tunes aren't enough? All right, well, that would help tremendously if you did. So, what else? What do you just not work out? What do you do? Yeah, but you're not gonna hit a PR. Is that acceptable? And it shouldn't be for you either. And today I'm gonna teach you why that is. Because there's no excuse not to go in with an iron mindset, with an iron will to hit bigger and better freaking numbers each and every single day. Whether <coughs> 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 machine guys anything that's easy anything that gets you pumping for instance I have a chest press really easy machine feels great gets a yeah. I can do this while I'm reading newspaper while I'm drinking cups of coffee while I'm watching the telly it doesn't freaking matter guys because it's easy it's a really easy comfortable machine so it doesn't matter how good I'm feeling you understand what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when I do this, it gets blood flowing. It gets blood flowing. It gets my brains clicking and ticking and all cylinders because there's improved blood flow to the brain. And to the brain controls the whole freaking body. If your brain is feeling powerful and cranked up, the switch goes off, you're gonna have a freaking good workout. Because you just, When someone runs, what do they get? They get high as the sky, right? They get an old runner's high. Well, here's the thing, guys. You don't have to run to get high, right? You can get the, uh, you can get the, uh, you can get your, your pecs so pumped, you get high as the sky from extreme euphoria to your muscles, you know what I mean? So it's just something as easy as finding whether, what, whatever machine it is, whether you like a fly machine, whether you like a chest press, whether you like a row, whether you like leg extension, I don't care what it is, and it doesn't even freaking matter. It doesn't matter what day it is. It's leg day. It doesn't matter. Go on the chest press, pump out reps, because you know what it's gonna do? It's gonna frick, frick. No, it's fine, leave it off. It's gonna pump blood everywhere, and it's gonna get your mind right. It's gonna get you feeling good, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's gonna wear you out. That's gonna, it's, no, it's gonna beat you up. You're gonna feel tired. You're gonna feel lethargic. I'm telling you, if you just hit some reps on a chest press or a seated row, any easy machine that doesn't require cojones and an iron will, right? Anything that's easy, why do you think you go to the gym and you see, you know, 70 year olds on chest press and tricep machines? They're doing insane amounts of reps. It's because they're trying to get that high, that euphoria. They, they're wiser than all of us. They've been around. They know what they're training for. You understand what I'm saying? It's not, you know, if people look at them, they say, oh, these people don't know how to train, right? They're just doing the machines. Oh, look at them, they're doing so many reps. No, they got it all freaking figured out. It's because they know that if they do this, they crank the reps, that they're gonna feel good. They're gonna feel good. Their brain is getting that stimulus, that runner's high, that pumper's high. That full squared off chest dense freaking myo freaking fibril high. Holy shit! Does this make any sense? Do you know what I'm saying? Does this make any sense? Does it make sense what I'm saying? My point is 
You go into the gym while you're drinking coffee, while you're drinking pre-workout, while you're popping pills, while you're doing whatever it takes to get a little bit more energy. And while you do that, I'm telling you, it doesn't matter what day it is, whether it's chest day, whether it's leg day, whether it's bench day, whether it's lat day, trap day, back day, calf day, doesn't matter. Go to an easy machine, just get blood flowing, okay? Everyone thinks they're so freaking fancy these days with the stupid myofascial release and all this BS. BS, 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 whole stuff, all, all foam roller and all that. Why? I mean, yeah, get it. You want a little prehab, rehab, rehab, rehab. You know what I'm saying? But if you, honestly, if you go in there and you just get blood flowing, you get blood flowing to your, your, your pecs, your arms, blood can be flowing, increased blood flow to your legs, and circulation's improved, even to your brain. Now all of a sudden, things are clicking, things are ticking. Now, when you have your deadlifts or your squats, you're feeling, ah! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does that make sense? It's not the exercise itself. It's not the machine. It's not the movement. It's the increased blood flow. It's the brains. Yeah, just hop on any easy machine, crank out some reps until you get a little pump, right? You look in the mirror and say, holy buckets, I'm feeling pumped in your brain and euphoria and sensations. You know what I mean? Does this make sense? Did I make my point?